Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Count Syrian. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your general love reading. I hope all has been well, Count Syrian. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves. Shout out to the beautiful soul family. Thank you all so much for your love and your support. We definitely appreciate the love, Count Syrian. All right. We're going to focus on the October energy that's coming in for you or just who are you exchanging energies with right now? We want to see how they feel about you, Count Siren, and what are some things that they may want to say, all right? So come on in, smash that like button, and let's talk about this thing called love, Count Siren. I missed you all. I'm so excited to tap back into your energy here today. All right, spirit team, guardian angels, ancestors of the highest life. What do we have for Count Siren placements when it comes to love and romance? What's going on in Count Sirian's love life? What do they need to know at this time and why? The readings here are general Count Sirian, so definitely take care of what resonates for you and please leave on the table what does not. If you would love to book a personal reading with me, my email details are down below Count Sirian in the description box, all right? I hope all has been well. Wow, look at there. We have the Ten of Pentacles here. All right, this could be an earth sign for some of you all that you could be exchanging energies with. This could be a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo here. All right, someone may see you as wanting to build or establish a family here with you. Someone may be wanting to blend families here with you. All right, the card of the Ten of Pentacles talks about family, generational wealth. Okay, let's see. Let's get more insight here. What else is going on in Count Sirian's love life? What else do Count Sirian need to know here for Count Sirian placements? We have the devil. Wow. Okay. So let's see what's going on. Some of y'all, this could be simply a Capricorn. All right. I'm going to clarify each card as well, Count Sirian, so we can get more clarity and more insight here. Let's see what else. The five of wands, you're conflicted about this person here, Count Syrian. All right, here we go. Let's dive in. So some of you all, this could have been someone that you were in a relationship or a commitment here with, okay? This could have been the mother or the father of your child. This could have been a spouse or an ex-spouse of yours. Someone that you separated from that you were in a long-term commitment here with, okay? And again, with the devil card here, this could have been a marriage or this could have been just overall an overwhelming toxic relationship or toxic situation here. And I feel like at this point, Count Siren, you are conflicted here. You are in a space where you no longer want to fight or argue or feel like you have to be in a competition with this person or the energies that are around you and this person. I feel like there may have been also some outside influencers that may have tried to intervene or cause conflicts with you and this person, okay? Um, let's get some clarity. This could be, again, a Taurus, a Capricorn here, or a Virgo for some of you all, Count Syrian. Others of you all, this person here could be a Leo, a Sagittarius, or an Aries here, okay? So let's clarify each card here. Let's get more insight on this situation for whomever this is resonating for. Wow, Count Syrian. Let's go in. We have here the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. So there is some type of offer that's coming in as well, okay? The Ace of Pentacles talks about a new beginning of either either like a career change or romantically wise, this could be an offer of a commitment, okay? Yeah, you definitely got a message coming in from a fire sign for some of you all. This could be a Pisces. Also, I'm hearing a Cancer as well like yourself for some of you all or a Taurus here I'm hearing you're about to get communication from this person I feel like they want to offer you 
some type of commitment or a establishment here of a commitment here. But I feel like because of what's going on with this person and whatever situation they have going on, you're kind of like, okay, that sounds great and everything, but when are we going to address the elephant in the room? Okay. Clarify the devil cards here, please. Why do we have the devil card coming out here today for Cancerian energy? Clarify. Thank you. All right. Card came out, flipped over. Wow, the page of coins in reverse and the knight of pentacles in reverse. You've shut this person's offer down and I don't blame you, okay? They have came in more than two times here, I feel like, to try to offer you a opportunity of a commitment or maybe to kind of reconcile with you. But I see that you obviously turned these offers down. Some of y'all, this could be two different people that wanted to come towards you, but you knew that they were in, you know, toxic behavior patterns still, okay? Some of y'all, this person could have put you in a third-party situation here. Let's clarify the five of wands. Why do we have the five of wands here showing up in Count Sirius energy here? The nine of wands. Yeah, you're having to protect yourself and set boundaries here for this person because obviously they don't have no control over the people that they involve themselves with. And I feel like these individual people that they've had relations with here, they haven't closed out this chapter with these individuals or maybe, for an example, this could be an ex of theirs and they still, you know, keep that relationship open where they still go in and out and exchange energies with that person. And particularly because of that, this is why you are in the space of protecting your energy from this person here and setting boundaries for this individual. Again, they could be a Sagittarius, a Leo, an Aries, a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo. But I do see this person here in a space of feeling guilty because of their behavior. It's like they're now starting to see that by you setting boundaries and just not letting this person walk all over you and take advantage of you, now they're in a position of now realizing of their own behavior patterns here. And it hasn't been a situation where they're stuck. The Eight of Swords talks about being stuck in a situation or having these negative thoughts where you're not able to move or make any movements because you're limiting yourself by the negative thoughts that is in this person's head and it's because they pretty much know that it's true you know they know i feel like that you are aware of what has happened what's been going on here and why things are in the position that they're in today okay so let's see what this person here wants to say counselor and after all of this here that has transpired between you two all right, let's see here. Spirit team, what do we have here for Count Syrian? Let's see what this person here wants to say. Wow, we have, I will text you, okay? Some of y'all, this person is about to reach out to you. Maybe you haven't had any communication from this person in quite some time, and they're ready to reach out to you. Yeah, look at that. I want to, I'm sorry, I won't do this again. Okay, so the reason why this person is about to reach out to you or text you, which is I felt like they have before with the page and the night in reverse. Some of y'all, you may have blocked this person here. So this is why they're trying to reach out to you. We have, I don't care, I want you. Wow. <laughs> Someone's coming in very strong with their feelings here, okay? Let's see what else this person here wants to say. Let's get one more card out here. Wow, we have, yep, I did it. I see that someone wants to confess here what they've done here, okay? Yeah, we got here, you got what I want. So they're realizing now that they're no longer with you or in separation from you. Now they realize that you got what they want, that you've always had what they want here. I feel like someone could have been in their ego, all right, yeah, we got, we will be together one day. Wow, so someone still has hope that you two will be together, but it's kind of like, you know, I feel like you two are at a stagnant space or place right now because of the people that's involved, because of what has been allowed here, where there hasn't been any boundaries or structure or, uh, you know, respect here so it caused conflicts here between you two so someone definitely wants to come in and make amends with you to indicate that this is something that they don't want to do again 
and you know they're wanting to be together with you one day here okay wow you have your free choice you have your free will counseling be sure that you're using your discernment in this situation and follow your intuition all right Wow, Cancer, and I'm going to leave this portion of the reading here. However, again, if you would love to book a personal reading to kind of get more insight, more details pertaining to around your personal situation, I am available for readings, all right? My email details are down below in the description box. And again, if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Definitely come and check us out on Patreon if you would love more readings and more content from my channel. We would love to have you there. And definitely be sure to be setting your notification bells for when I do go live on this channel for all 12 signs and also for your next upcoming reading for Count Syrian. All right. Thank you all so much. I love you. And I definitely wish you and this person in this entire situation the best, my loves. Bye-bye.